What is up everyone? JD here. Hope you're doing well today. Got a review for you. We're going to be looking at the best tech man Dundee. Let's get into it. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to do some size comparisons, then we'll go over the review of the knife itself and then summarize. Let's go ahead and start it off with a couple of size comparisons. First, we got the Devo Knives Pony Stout, and as you can see, these two are very, very comparable. I do have to hold it like that. Unfortunately, this pocket clip wants it to fold over, so maybe I'll just flip them. That way I'm not battling with the pocket clips. But very comparable size. The Dundee is a much more slender knife, but I like the comparison that we got right here. Next, we're going to bring out the Civivi Praxis, and you'll be able to see what the Dundee looks like against a full-size knife. This would definitely be a small carry, secondary carry, um, potentially a pouch knife. Uh, and that's what the Pony Stout is. So we're going to save that for the profile comparison so you can see how thin or thick the knife is. Let's go ahead and bring out the Migron Moriarl and move the Praxis out of the way. And we'll bring out one more full-size knife for comparison. And that is going to be the Civivi Vision FG. So again, I think we made our point. Very small knife and even bigger, uh, even smaller than the Moriarl, and I think of that as more of a medium EDC. So let's do some quick profile comparisons, and then we'll weigh the knife. So the Dundee is going to be relatively thinner than the Moriarl is right here on the screen. And then let's check it out against the Pony Stout. And you can see just a touch bigger, a uh, touch thicker than the Pony Stout is. Now, I did bring the pouch that I keep the Pony Stout in. Normally, I keep it right here in this pocket, and it fits perfect for that. I did want to demonstrate before we weigh. I think this would be, again, fifth pocket carry, secondary carry, or a pouch knife. So it fits nicely in my data crew. What a slide which is what I like to rock because it allows me to carry my earbuds um, and then all of the other gear that I like to keep in here as well. So I have a little bit of everything. But I did want to share that because I thought that might help some folks that might be looking for something a little bit more affordable to throw in the pouch. Let's see here. We got the scale on. Can you all see that? There we go. This was a relatively light knife coming in at 2.4 ounces. So it's actually lighter than a bug out. It's lighter than the pony stout and it's not going to add much weight to the fifth pocket and or to your pouch if that's what you're going to store it in. Let's jump into the knife. This is a very straightforward design. You got G10 with chamfered scales on the edges here. I think that looks really nice and you have no weight reduction on the steel liners. You have about a, uh, I'd call that 20% lockup on the actual lock bar itself. You got a very long deep carry pocket clip that does work very well. It's very springy. Um, I did bring my pouch out here to show you guys how that goes in and out of the pocket as well. Goes in really nicely and you don't have much knife sticking out at all. And it's a very thin, discreet clip. So that's going to work really well as far as fifth pocket or again in the pouch. It's not going to stick out too much. So if you're throwing gear on top of it, it's not going to ride on that too, too much. Um, standoffs are kind of unique. So to disassemble it, you're going to take your screws out for the scales you're going to remove your pivot screw and you're going to remove the pivot bolt from this side and then you'll be able to get down and access to the pocket clip and um not the pocket clip i'm sorry the spacers the barrel spacers that are here so um the top one the bottom one is actually this bolt right is that right? Yeah, this bolt right here. But the top one is up here. Now, to flip the pocket clip, it's just going to be the four screws. But it's a very interesting way to do the construction so you can kind of minimize the visible bolts and clean up the knife a little bit. And I think they did a good job with that. This does have D2 steel. Correct. Am I right? Yeah, D2 steel. Sorry. I knew I had seen it on here. Um, but it is a coated blade, so that is going to cut down on your corrosion. It is a very thin blade, nicely done here. It has a nice flat top on it, no sharp edges. You can feel a little bit there, but it's not super sharp. You got jimping right here, so you do have some control over that. For me, ergonomically, 
nice straight design it's about a three and a half finger grip and again for a secondary knife something that you just want to pull out to like open a package something like that it's a good size if it was a primary knife it'd be a little concerning for me because there's not a lot of room on there and it's kind of thin in the hand but this kind of reminds me of like that ceo style knife where it does have the thin lines but it's not it's not going to be a primary knife right it's it's very thin um, discreet something that you can easily pocket somewhere where you don't want anyone to see it or don't want to mess with it or something maybe you want to pull out quickly uh, to do whatever cutting tasks that you need and put it away flipper tab on here works well it's got nice jimping on it and it fires out the detent is tuned well it does have smooth action I did try to mess with the fullers and I couldn't really get those to work so I think those are just you know there for design the way the lock bar works it kind of rises up above the scale here so you're not really getting down to that lock bar I mean I think if you if you really wanted you probably could or maybe if you had small hands you could but in my opinion it's just there aesthetically or if you want to pinch it open um, probably there for that as well it seems to have a really good edge I did test it I'm actually I forgot to bring the extra paper up here to show you that but I did test this it doesn't seem like it's either not very deep in the pass around um, or they didn't do a whole lot of cut test with this one, which makes sense because it's really not a heavy duty, hard use knife. And Best Tech usually produces really solid edges, good cutting ge geometry, and this feels really thin. So this is going to be a great secondary knife and it comes in at about 40 bucks if you use my discount code over on white mountain knives you can get this for just under 40 and that to me is a really good deal for a knife that's on bearings has a good detent a knife nice flipper and is clearly meant to be a companion carry knife or a knife that you want to throw into a pouch or an organizer i also really like this color combination this like gray finish with this blue looks really good to me i like the combination um, it's a solid solid knife if you're looking for something a little bit bigger for around 40 bucks i would probably steer you either towards the civivi praxis which you can get really close to this price point you're going to get 9 cr instead of d2 which is is a good steal still um, especially for a budget knife you're going to get full purchase on this one and you get a four finger choil so this one definitely if you're looking for something full-handed that you're going to uh, use and abuse and potentially beat up a little bit and if that's too big for you i would probably point you towards the moriarl again 14c 28n g10 steel liners coming in at around 40 bucks so i wanted to point out if you like the price point but you think it's too small for you these are some definite comparable alternative options that i recommend now this micarta variant i think was a little bit closer to the 50 dollars price point but i think the g10 one actually matches dollar for dollar on this best tech man dundee um, the moriarl i would probably say is the better value and it's a it's a better size for edc this is going to be really nice purchase good hand position on here nice thin geometry really well done 14 c 28 n and a little bit of titanium to boot now i did recently see where someone did chamfer down around the edges here so it ended up kind of looking like it does on the praxis and that looks pretty cool but it's totally not necessary uh, they did such a good job keeping the handle slender that that thickness in there feels really comfortable in the hand but again depending on what you're looking for if you're looking for a secondary knife and you like the fact that this is going to be d2 steel which is going to really have r nice edge retention it's going to hold a long while and it's built well good g10 so that g10 has enough texture to it to feel grippy but it's not going to chew at your pants or again pouch organizer and i imagine this comes in a variety of colors so you may be able to do some coordinating with your pouches this is going to be a solid solid option it's a cool little knife i am very impressed with the build quality um, and just the overall function that you're getting at this price point yes there's bigger knives with lesser steel 9cr is not going to hold an edge like d2 but 9cr is going to be corrosive resistant can't get it to quite sit up like i had it a minute ago i would honestly say though like the moyara would be a good edc if you're looking for something primary that would be what i would steer you towards let me know what you think about the uh best tech man dundee if you like this form factor 
How are you carrying it? What are you using it for? I'd love to hear that down in the comments below. Shout out to everyone out there that leaves the likes, the comments, that is subscribed. I love you guys. I appreciate all the support. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, peace.